Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another edition of Geometry Excellence Television. Okay, so what are we going to do today? We're going to find the area of a triangle and parallelogram on a coordinate plane. Okay, first we have to know area is the quantity that measures a region. So it's what's inside a shape. Write that down. So area is what's inside a shape. Okay, area of a parallelogram is really easy. Area, and you put it right here, parallelogram, spell it right, because it's spelled right here, equals the base times the height. Okay, area of a triangle is easier. What's the area of a triangle? Yeah, you know, one half base times height. Okay, so we're going to go over a few of these. First, let's do an example problem. Okay, so here is a triangle here. Doop. Let's do it. Get a right triangle. Doesn't matter. Let's say it's a three, four, five. What is the area of this triangle? Area equals I don't know. Well, so it's the base. This is the base, and this is the height. So area equals one half times the base, which is three, times the height, which is four. How do we do it in our head? Well, what's half of four? That's two, right? So it's two times three, which is six units squared. Area is always in units squared. Okay. Now let's do a parallelogram. How do you know it's a parallelogram? Opposite sides are parallel. Yeah. So that would mean that this and this are parallel, the top and the bottom, as well as the left and the right are parallel. Why am I doing different marks? Because they're different lines. It means the double mark is parallel to the double mark, the single mark is parallel to the single mark. Okay. So let's say this is six, let's say this is five, and let's say da 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 that height is four. Okay. So area of the parallelogram is base times height. Remember that from the last uh, slide. So what is the base? The base is here, here, which is six. This is six, this is six. What's the height? Is it five or four? Up, 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 up. It is four. The five is just a distractor, that's the diagonal. So it's actually the four, so it says six times four, which is 24 units squared. Boom, okay. Now let's try this. Ooh, what shape is that? That's easy, that's a triangle. Area equals one half base times height. That's the first thing I write. Now the hard thing is to figure out what is the base and what's the height here. So a lot of times you have to adjust what's going on here. So you can adjust your paper like this, or real easy, we can just look at it upside down. So right here, this is the base, and this is the height right here. So the base is one, two, three, four, five, six. The base is six units. The height here is one, two, three, trace this with me, four, five. Don't just watch, you have to trace it with me. Height is five. So the area is one half times six times five. Half of six is three. Three times five is 15 units squared. Boom. Okay, got it. Let's keep it going. Okay, another triangle. Area equals one half base times height. The hard part about this is figuring out where the base and where the height is. Oh, here is the base here. So you got to look sideways. Here is the height. You gotta look sideways like that. Okay, I got it. Okay, so the base is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight units. The height, one, two, three, four, five. Area equals one half times eight times five. That's 40, right? Half of 40 is 20 units squared. Boom. Okay, so let's keep it going. Ooh, right here. Let's see if you can do it on your own. Ready? Area is one half base times height. Ready? Pause the video, see if you can do it. Ready, set, go. Oh, you get it? So here's the base. Here's the height. Let's see if you got it. So the base is one, two, three, four. Boom. The height is one, two, three, four, five. So the area is a half times four times five. That's 20. Half of 20 is 10 units. 
squared. Got it. So if you're confused, raise your hand and ask your teacher. Well, you should be able to get that one. Just like, whoop, you should be able to get this one. All right, last one. See if you can get it on your own. What's the base? What's the height? Find the area. Ready, set, pause the video. Go. All right, see what we got. So area is one half base times height. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the base. The height is one, two, three, four, five, six also. So the area is one half times six times six. Half of six is three. Three times six is 18 units squared. Hopefully you got that. Make sure at the unit squared at the end. All right. So, ooh, ooh, tough one now. Let's see if we got this, okay? Ready, set, pause the video so you can get it. Go. Okay, let's see what we got. Area equals one half base times height. So the base is this. The height is this right here. So that's the whole height, straight up and down. Yeah, it can be outside the triangle. Yeah, that's allowed. That's totally allowed. So the base is one, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. Height is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're just doing like this. One half times six times six. Half of six is three. Three times six is 18 units squared. Ooh, cool. All right. So where are we at? Oh, that one's easy. That one's easy. Where's a parallelogram? Let's practice that one. Okay. So last one we're going to do, parallelogram. What's the area of a parallelogram? Yeah, base times height. Okay. So here's the base, and here's the height. So base here, height here. Okay. Now, I could do the bases here, but that's diagonal and that's hard to count. So I'm not, this is the base, I'm going to go with that, okay? So, the base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 here. The height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's easy. 5 times 5 is 25 units squared. We don't take the half because it's not a triangle. Got it. Okay, so you have some more right here, okay? So all of these that are going to be in your packet, start those right now. Great job. Ready, set, go.